Still looking at networks here, we're going to look at trails and paths. Now, in a previous video, we talked about something called a walk. And a walk is simple. You just go from A to B to C to E to D to C to B. Any sort of trip through a network is a walk. So everything I show you from now until the end of this video is going to be a walk. But there are specific types of walks called trails and paths. And that's what we're looking at here. Now, when you're talking about a trail, the way that I like to think about trails is to think about a trek, like a trekker, someone walking through, looking around on the road. Now, a trekker does not like to walk on the same road twice, and that's what a trail is. Now, this is an example of a trail. Uh, someone started at point E, and then they moved to point A, and then to B, and then to C, and then to E, and then to D. Now, at no point did they walk on the same road twice. Now, if they were to, say, from D, walk back to E, then this would no longer be a trail, because they've walked on the same road twice. So, in short, trails are for trekkers. It's for people that don't like to repeat edges. Um, no road gets walked down the same twice. Now, trails are walks, and trails can also be opened or closed. Uh, now, this is an open walk because it starts and finishes on different vertices. Now, of course, if we shorten the trail slightly, if we just get rid of this arrow, we now have the trail E to A uh, to B to C and back to E, and that is a closed trail. No repeated edges, and it starts and finishes at the same vertex. So that's trails. Uh, now, paths. Paths are for posties. Now imagine A, B, C, D, and E are houses, and a postie is delivering mail to each house. Now, the postie doesn't care if he goes down the same road twice. That's not an issue. What really matters is that the postie gets to every house once. A postie doesn't want to go past the house multiple times. That doesn't make sense. So, no repeated vertices. So, here's an example of a path. Uh, we start at C here. We go from house C to house B to house A to house E and to house D. Um, now, this is a path, no repeated vertices. Um, you can see he's only gone to each vertex once. Now, we can have open and closed paths as well. That seems a little bit odd. So we need a small change to our rules about what a path is. Now, this, first of all, is an open path uh, because it starts and finishes at different vertices. Now we can have a closed path. Uh, if the this was like home base, the post office, post office to house one, to house two, to house three, to house four, and back to the post office, we call that a closed path. But you might already be spotting a problem with that. So a closed path has uh, the start and the finish of the same vertex, C around back to C. But wait a minute, Paths have no repeated vertices. That's my definition right there. So we just need to tweak my definition slightly. No repeated def uh, vertices except first and last. Now it doesn't always have to be first and last because you can have an open path. But you can still consider something a path and have a repeated vertex, as long as the repeated vertex is the first one and the last one. So now that we know all of this, we can create a walk and then define it as either a trail or a path or neither, whatever. So let's go for it. Let's go from uh, C around the loop to E to C to B. Uh, that's it. Okay, let's do that. C, D, E, C, B. Now, is it um, uh, closed or open, first of all? Well, 
started at C and it ended at B. So it's not starting and finishing at the same vertex, so it must be an open something, an open walk. Is it a trail or a path? Well, uh, no repeated vertices. All right, so we went from C to D to E, back to C, and then to B. C is a repeated vertex, and it's not the first and the last one, it's the first and the second last one. So this is not a path. I wonder if it's a trail. Trail, let's see, this road, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge. Okay, no edge has been repeated there. We can say that this is a trail because there are no repeated edges. This is an open trail. And you should be able to, it doesn't matter what I draw up there, you should be able to categorize it as a trail or a path or just a walk if it doesn't fit into either of those categories. Those are trails and paths.